Need help installing a new font? Well, look no further. In this tutorial, we'll walk through installing a font on Windows 10 together. We'll also take a look at uninstalling, just in case there's a font you'd like to remove from your computer as well. I'm going to use the font Fable Bug Simple in this walkthrough, a font available on Envato Elements. You're welcome to use it along with me. Otherwise, make sure you have a new font to work with that you don't already have installed on your PC. Now, let's get started. Many times when downloading a font, it will be in a compressed zip file. In this case, we'll have to extract the contents to access the font files inside. Simply double-click to open it up as you would a normal folder. I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop called My Fonts. Then, I'm going to select the font files from within the zip file and just click and drag them to the folder I just made on my desktop. Now that I've got the font files extracted, we need to open up our fonts folder on our computer. Start by locating your C drive. This is commonly where operating systems are installed. However, if yours is installed on a different drive, make sure to go there. We're looking for the Windows folder. Here's mine, so I'll double click to open it up. Now, select the fonts folder. Double click to open it up. Not sure where you are on your computer? Look up here in this portion of the window. See how it says C, Windows, Font? Now let's select our font files that we already extracted onto a folder on our desktop. Drag the file into the font folder. I'm going to do this with the TTF file or TrueType font. We'll get visual confirmation here from Windows that the font is being installed. And that's it! Our font is all installed. There's one more way we could do this too. Let's go back to our font files on our desktop. Double click on the font file and we'll see a visual preview. Then we can click install to install the font. Easy, right? This method might be more convenient if you're just installing one font. However, if you're installing several at once, the fonts folder method might prove to be more convenient. Choose the one that works best for you. Now let's uninstall a font. We'll need to go to the font folders again. Browse through the available fonts and select the one you'd like to remove. Right-click the font file and then select Delete. Windows gives us a warning prompt to confirm that this is what we'd like to do. Select Yes to continue. And there you have it. Now the font is uninstalled. Installing and uninstalling fonts on Windows 10 is pretty easy when you know where to look. I hope this video helped you out. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.